So here's the refrigerator we're going to try our test on for the EcoFlow Delta II. It's a GE Profile Energy Star 25.5 cubic foot French door bottom freezer refrigerator. And we bought it in 2008, so it's 15 years old. So this is a big refrigerator and it's old. So it's very possible that um, a newer refrigerator would do better. So this is the energy guide for this refrigerator. 571 kilowatts per year. Doesn't say how much it uses as it goes along, but. So it's very possible with a newer refrigerator and certainly with a smaller refrigerator, the uh, EcoFlow Delta II could run for eight hours. But for our refrigerator, uh, we're gonna need to get the extra battery if we want it to run for eight hours. So probably wait till it goes on sale. Uh, hopefully we won't have a power outage before that. All right, we're ready to try the, well, we're almost ready. We're not as ready as we could be. But, but, but we're gonna go ahead and try to run the refrigerator off of our Delta II uh, power station plus the extra battery. Now, overnight, or maybe for the last few days, the battery is not charged up to 100%. It's only at 69%. So I'm not sure what's up with that. And it's charging at a very slow rate. So it's only charging... I've got the refrigerator plugged in now and it's drawing 162 and it's only drawing 174 watts on the input. I tried changing the charging speed using the app. I tried running it up to 1500 watts. It beeps, but then it doesn't change the uh, doesn't change the charging speed. So I'll have to open up a support call with uh, EcoFlow. It's probably the firmware problem. The firmware was updated about a, a couple of weeks ago, and there must be a problem with it. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and try anyway. That's hopefully enough power to run for eight hours. Yeah, I think we got five hours last time, and the batteries are sixty-nine percent, so that should be another at least another three hours. So, <clears throat> same setup as before. We've got the refrigerator plugged in to this heavy-duty extension cord, a fifteen-amp extension cord. Plugged into the back of the Eco 2, or the Delta 2 rather. And it's plugged in over here, so we're just going to unplug it, and then it'll be running off the battery. So, All right, so now it's running off the battery. So the battery is outputting, so it's, uh, it's uh, deciding how long it can run. It's only saying one hour. So there's 400 watts of power being pulled. And now it's down to zero. So that refrigerator was on for a second, now it's off, so. All right, so the refrigerator is at its normal temperature, operating temperature, so it's minus two in the freezer and 38 in the refrigerator, so. All right, so we started this just after eight o'clock, 8 a.m., and we're gonna run until just after 4 p.m. That'll be our eight hours. And then we'll hook it up to the generator and recharge it. Hopefully then it'll recharge at 1500 watts. We'll see. Let's double check the uh, run time. So the battery says it can run 99 hours. And the um, main power unit says 12 hours. Of course, it's not drawing. The refrigerator doesn't draw every uh, it only draws when it's actually doing active cooling, so it doesn't draw all the time. So we'll come and check it every couple of hours, see how we're doing, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully this will work this time. All right, it's been about an hour, and uh, refrigerator is pulling 125 watts, and this is pulling, uh, the main unit is pulling 57 watts from the battery. So it looks like it's, trying to divide how much power it uses between the main unit and the battery. So main unit says it can last six hours and the battery says it can last 11 hours at this rate. So hopefully that's still enough. Now we only started this at 67%, so, or 69%, I guess. Anyway, we'll see 
how it goes. Yeah, so if we look at the app too, it's showing something similar. And uh, it's got the extra battery power output, 57 watts, and that matches up here. And the output is 124, 125. And this is going to last six hours and 22 minutes. So. All right, so we're about an hour in, a little over an hour in, and uh, hopefully it'll last a full eight hours. This will have to, the battery will have to pick up its input once uh, things get farther along. All right, we've been going a, le a little over two and a half hours, and we've got uh, four hours left on this battery on the main unit and six hours left on this unit. I think we're going to have enough. Uh, remember, we started with a low charge on this one. So, uh, One thing I read online was it's possible I need to cycle this battery a few times to get it to make sure it charges up all the way. So the process of doing this test, I'll be cycling both these batteries down to a low level. And then uh, when I charge it back up, it'll hopefully go up to 100% again. When I first got this, it went up to 100%. But then I just noticed this morning that it was only at, uh, I think it was 69%. So anyway, I think we're going to do OK here. We're going to keep going and see what happens. All right, it's been four hours, and we have two hours left on the main unit and four hours left on the battery. Now it says six hours, so we might make it. We'll see. If we make at least seven hours, that's actually enough because I usually sleep seven hours. But uh, we'll keep going and check back in in a couple hours. Okay, we're seven hours into it and we've got uh, 42 minutes left on the main unit and uh, one hour left on the extra battery. So I think we're going to make it uh, just barely. So again, we start with a lower, lower. Um, not a complete full charge on this battery. Uh, and then once we get done with this test, we're going to hook up the generator and recharge it. So that'll be the next thing. But I would say it's a success so far, even though we didn't start at 100% on both units. So I'll check back in an hour. All right, it's been a full eight hours. And as you can see, the main unit says 16 minutes left. 6% and the battery says 49 minutes left, 14%. All right, let's check the app. So the app says 15 minutes, which is what the main unit says. So that's actually kind of misleading uh, because the battery is going to keep it going longer than that. I don't think we can. So, yeah, so I one thing to remember is I, you know, normally at night I wouldn't be using the refrigerator at all. But today I was using it, you know, to get lunch and everything. So the, I did open the door a few times to get some ice and ice wash. So now this is down to 10%, which again is not exactly the same as what the front end is doing. But in any case, it's time to get the generator started up, and we're going to run the we're going to run the wire, the extension cord from the generator through the window here. It's kind of cold outside. I I, I don't want to I don't want to run it through the door. And so we'll run it through the window, and I'll put a towel in there to block the cold air. And we'll get it charged back up. All right, so we're going to be simulating what we'd actually do if there was a power outage. We would want to keep running the refrigerator. So we're going to leave the battery, leave it plugged into the battery. We have the 20 amp extension cord coming from the generator, which I'm going to turn on in a second, going through the window. So we'll as little as much as we can. I'll, I'll put a towel in here to block this later. So the app says we have uh, 22 minutes left. Again, I think that's a little bit misleading because the <coughs> battery says it has an hour left. So. so let's go ahead and start up the generator. I've shown the generator before, uh, but I'll go over it quickly here. So this is a uh, Champion dual fuel generator. I got hooked up to propane, which is what I like to use because it don't have to worry about deteriorating like gasoline. Can use gasoline as an alternative, and it can put out um, 36, 3,060 3, watts using propane. 
So the we should be able to get the the battery to recharge at 15 amps, which would be uh, let's see, um, 15 times that's like a, uh, 1500 watts. Yeah, I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. So we're gonna start it up. We're gonna leave it on. Uh, we're not. We're gonna leave it on. Uh, we're going to turn uh, economy off. Turn the battery on. Start it up. I usually start with a choke out and then and push it back in. So we'll see if, how that works today. Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn the gas on. That would help. So remember, first turn the gas on. <laughs> this is a brand new tank. Just used up the last, the first one I ever bought. So I'll right, try that again. <laughs> Pull the choke out. All right, so generator's going. I'll come inside where it's not so noisy. And, uh... I, I did set the settings on the app to do 12, uh, 1500 watts, which is what it'll do when um, uh, <clears throat> it's hooked up to the battery. You can only do 12, I think it does 1200 by itself. So you notice the um, fan came on the batteries, which is normal. And it says it's going to take an hour and nine minutes to recharge. So again, the refrigerator is running fine. Check the uh, temperature. So we're still running at minus two and 38, which is our settings. And this is charging up. And let's see what the different inputs say. So down here on the, on the main unit, it says the input is 1,650 watts, which is actually a little over 1,500. And the battery up here is only getting 600 watts. So that's interesting. Battery says six, the main use is 6% and the battery says 14%. All right, so we'll come back in about an hour. And, uh, yeah, come back in about an hour and see uh, whether it's all charged up or not. All right, it's been an hour and um, it did it did approximately charge all the way up. In fact, it shut off a couple times in the last minute or so. It says 98%. Uh, the app now is saying uh, 12 more minutes to uh, charge up. Uh, but the uh, battery, the extra battery is only at 75%. So it's, I'm expecting it to go another 20 minutes or so. Uh, we'll see. So I think the app needs to be improved. They're probably still working on it. But uh, it really needs to take into account the battery and how long it's going to take to charge up everything. So. Hopefully the firmware will be updated maybe to help with that and maybe hopefully the app will be updated as well. All right, so I'll come back and wrap this up when uh, both the main unit and the battery are fully charged up. All right, it's done. So 100% uh, battery, 100% uh, our main unit, 100% battery. Took a little bit, hour and 20 minutes or so, something like that. So I'll show my other setup here. So here, like I said before, I put a towel in the window here. And the other main thing I want to emphasize, I'm using a 20 amp cord. So it was charging at 1600 plus watts. And you want to make sure that you're not overloading your extension cord. So. I turned this off, I got to uh, turn off the gas. As I've shown on some other videos, that's how you turn it off. And then make sure you turn off the battery, otherwise the battery will run out. All right, so the generator did well. It, like I said, it ran in about an hour and 20 minutes. And um, here's the uh, 20 amp cord. So it has a special plug where the, one of the top plugs is sideways. So that lets you know it's a 20 amp. So I'll put a link to this one that I got. Any 20 amp cord will work. All right, let's wrap it, wrap things up. So uh, definitely, f this is a great hybrid system. So you've got your battery and your main unit here running, running the uh, 
uh, refrigerator. Uh, it can run for more than eight hours, especially if you have 100% charge like I didn't have. And we can also plug in our microwave, which is an extension cord for that. So if we have a, a complete power outage, we can run our refrigerator, keep our food safe, and heat things up with the microwave. That's enough to make us get us through a few days. And we could even plug in a, a hot plate theoretically. Although we have a we have a we have a gas stove, a propane stove. We've normally probably used for cooking things. Uh, and then uh, it takes about an hour and twenty minutes to charge it back up. So let's say the power outage happened right at 8 o'clock in the morning. So we'd, we'd hook this up, and then uh, about 8 hours later, we'd hook it up to the uh, generator, charge it up, and then uh, we'd probably top it off right before uh, bedtime. And that way, there'd be a uh, full charge to run overnight for 8 hours. And then the next morning, we'd start all over again. So, so this system will work. Uh, again, for my refrigerator, I needed to get the extra battery. It's possible if you have a smaller refrigerator, the main unit would be enough for you. Uh, but it's probably safer to get this. Uh, it gives you more uh, leeway. All right, so that my, completes my review of the EcoFlow Delta II battery, or main unit, and uh, our power station, I guess, and the extra battery. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.